I'd like to call the order the uh, first meeting of the month of uh, March. Can you call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Present. I'm winging it. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Gata. Present. Trustee Arnett. Present. Trustee Mills. Trustee Newell. Here. Present. Trustee Palafis. Present. Mayor McLeod. Sorry. Present. Uh, Trustee uh, Mills has an excused ab absence. Trustee Stanton, can you listen to the Pledge of Allegiance? Certainly. Everybody please rise. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Stanton. Welcome. Move on to item number three, recognition of the audience. This is a time if someone has a question or concern they want to bring to before the village board for an item that is not on the agenda, now is the time to come forward. Going once, twice, three times, we'll move on. Chair, accept a motion to approve the minutes of the February 19th, 2018 meeting. So moved. moved. I'll second. Motion is second. Any questions or concerns about the minutes? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. Move on to the consent agenda. We have um, items A through T. T, there's a request to defer. Why don't we do that first if we can? Is there a motion? So moved. I'll second. Motion of second. Is that a motion to defer T? Yes, sir. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. This item will be remanded to Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee. Uh, Chair, accept a motion to approve the consent agenda. So, so moved. Second. second. It's a motion to second. Any questions on any of these items? For the record, these items are A, approval of the agenda, B, approval of the schedule of bills for March 5th, 2018, the amount of $1,852,000. $683.52. C, request board approval of an ordinance amending section 6-2-1 HE 11-1301A, additional no parking streets and areas, Hoffman Estates Police Department. D, request board approval of an ordinance authorizing the sale of personal property owned by the Village of Hoffman Estates fire equipment. E, request board approval of a five-year five -year extension to the Sears Center Arena Management Agreement with Global Spectrum LP doing business as Spectra Venture Venue Management of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. F, request board approval of business solicitation plan for the 4th of July Commission for the 2018 Northwest 4th Fest. G, request board approval to waive all inspection fees and select license fees for the 2018 Northwest 4th Fest. H, request board authorization to award a two-year contract for the village's nuisance wildlife control to Animal Trackers, Hoffman Estates, Illinois, sole bidder. I request board approval for Historical Sites Commission to proceed with 2018 budgeted activities and events in an amount not to exceed $1,300. J request board authorization to extend 2016 contract for the 2018 season landscape maintenance services for C and D locations, village maintained detention areas, and park type properties in various cul-de-sac islands to complete landscape Barrington, Illinois, in amount not to exceed $55,250. We have K, request board authorization to extend 2017 contracts for 2018 season parkway tree planting program low bids to one Acres Group, Wakanda, Illinois, and two St. Auburn Nursery, Kirkland, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $94,750. L, request board authorization to extend 2016 contract for 2018 season water, sewer, and forestry landscape restoration to Maloo Design Wheeling, Illinois, at a unit price of $6.15 6 per square yard for seeding and $10.15 per square yard for sodding in an amount not to exceed $35,000. M, request board authorization for change order number three to contract with Visu Sewer of Illinois, LLC, Pewaukee, Wisconsin, in an amount not to exceed $29,407.17. And request board authorization to extend 2017 contract for 2018 street sweeping, inclusive of all associated costs, including removal and hauling of debris, to Lakeshore Recycling Systems, formerly known as K-Hoving Clean Sweep, West Chicago, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $108,150. O, request board authorization to one, waive formal bidding, and two, purchase one replacement heavy duty dump truck chassis through State of Illinois Joint Purchase Contract Pricing from Rush Truck Center of Illinois, Inc., Chicago, Illinois, low state contract bid in an amount not to exceed 
$85,911. P, request board authorization to, one, waive formal bidding, and two, purchase one new Henderson dump body, underbody plow, spreader box, pre-wet system, controls, and fabrication installation using NGPA contract discount from Henderson Truck Equipment, Illinois, Huntley, Illinois, in amount not to exceed $76,250. Q, request board authorization to waive formal bidding, and two, purchase one new front snowplow for use on 2018 budgeted truck using NJPA contract discount from Linco Equipment Sales, Maryville, Indiana, in an amount not to exceed $14,246.50. I request board authorization to one, waive formal bidding, two, purchase replacement transportation and engineering division vehicle unit E90, through the Northwest Municipal Conference Suburban Purchasing Cooperative from Curie Motors, Frankfurt, Illinois, in an amount not to exceed $28,533. S, request board approval to submit an application for the Invest in Cook Grant Program for the Beverly Road Project. We have a motion to second. Have any questions come up on these items? Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Sure. <coughs> Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gata? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye, motion carried. The one item we deferred earlier, T, is a request board approval of a request by new singular wireless PCS LLC, commonly referred to as AT&T, for an extension to an existing cellular antenna license at 1355 Westbury Drive. This item has been remanded back to the Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee per prior uh, board approval at this meeting. Move on to six, President's report. Do we have any proclamations, Madam Clerk? We do. <laughs> Who's got the first one? We do. <clears throat> Actually, very honored to read this, having been here for 11 of your 20 years. Do we do a drum roll? <laughs> Officer of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas exemplary public service employment is of vital importance in assuring provision of services dedicated, directed, sorry, towards the health, welfare, and safety of the citizens of any community, and whereas the general government department has upon its roster an individual who should be commended for assisting said department in faithfully serving the citizens of this community, and whereas length of service coupled with continued training and positive attitude towards assigned job tasks make a profile of this dedicated employee, and whereas the village of Hoffman Estates, on its behalf of its citizens, desires to acknowledge its indebtedness and gratitude for 20 years of dedication and proficiency in the aforementioned department be therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoppen Estates, hereby proclaim Friday, March 16, 2018, as James Norris Day and the village of Hoffman Estates and urge all employees and citizens of the village to join us in expressing gratitude and appreciation to this employee who may have assisted them with outstanding service. Chair will accept the motion. So moved. Second. No, we got a second, Jim, no problem. Jim's done a great job for us, and we're very proud that you're here, and uh, we're certainly hoping you're going to stick around here for a while. Absolutely. All righty. Another 20 years? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, the ayes have a motion carried. These your family members, Jim? Well, these, are, uh, these are the people that help make us successful home away from home. on a daily basis, so I thought I'd share it with them. All right. Okay. Jim, you're, you're sure. Sure. One in front. You're a little bit too tall. There you go. You can do the, the Oompa Loompas again. Can you write down? Katie's got to be in front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't freeze. <laughs> two, one. And then three, two, one. Zero. And yes, I can back up. <laughs> 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 I'm short. And then three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> 
Excellent. Thank you. Still is fun. Okay, who's got the next one? I do. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. Whereas National School Breakfast Week, celebrated March 5th through no March 9th, was launched in 1989 to raise awareness of the availability of the school breakfast program, a federally assisted meal program operating in public and nonprofit private schools and residential child care institutions since 1975, and whereas breakfast is often described as the most important meal of the day. It not only provides important daily nutrients such as protein, fiber, calcium, and carbohydrates, but it also helps improve school performance, allowing students to do better on tests according to the Food and Nutrition Service, and whereas children who go hungry and are more inclined to become distracted from learning at school or give up more easily when faced with challenges. Healthy, well-rounded breakfasts are best for child's maximum performance level and whereas school districts, local school districts and others including D54 Education Foundation's Food for Thought initiative are working hard to address the concern of access to a nutritious breakfast for all students through programs, awareness and fundraising activities and whereas it is ultimately the responsibility of the adults, parents, caregivers, and educators to care for the children by providing them consistent access to quality food they need to learn, grow, and thrive. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and by virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of this village of Hoffman Estates, hereby proclaim March 5th through 9th, 2018, as National School Breakfast Week in the village of Hoffman Estates and hereby encourage all citizens, government agency, business leaders, hospitals, schools, and public and private institutions in the village of Hoffman Estates to promote awareness of the importance of providing all students with access to consistent, nutritious meals, breakfast included, so that they can put their best foot forward every day. Chair would accept a motion. So moved. Second. So motion to second. Uh, could the sailors and the Andersons come on up? Of Daryl Saylor and uh, Dan Anderson. We thought of who would who we give this uh, proclamation to the District 54. Why don't you go by the microphone there? District uh, 54 Education Foundation seemed to be the most logical the one. You two want to explain a little bit of what the foundation does, including pull, the breakfast and everything else you do? Pull the microphone up, please. There we go. I am short. <laughs> <laughs> um, first of all, I couldn't. district uh, found out through uh, Andy Barras, our superintendent, that 22% uh, of our children go to school in District 54 either not having breakfast, either not having breakfast or, or not having enough nutrition to be able to activate their minds. Um, it's, it's, we've had it in an effect now for over our second year, mm -hmm. and I will tell you that in our first year, uh, we were gracious to uh, be given over $50,000 to help um, our students in D54 to obtain breakfast. And it is our goal someday to be able to make sure that no child goes to school in the morning without having breakfast. Well, thank you very much for everything you do. We have a motion to second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion carried. Come on up. Thank you. Get a picture here? Absolutely. Yes. Perfect. <laughs> All right, everyone smile. Three, two, one. And one more. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Who's next? Oh, I am. Office of the Mayor Proclamation. <clears throat> Whereas National Nutrition Month is a nutrition and information campaign sponsored each year by the Academy of Nutrition Dietetics that promotes nutrition, awareness, health, well-being, factual information regarding proper nutrition. And whereas research shows that proper, adequate nu nutrition plays a central role in the development and maintenance of optical, physical, and mental functioning as well and well-being. And whereas research shows that many children and family do not have reliable access to proper, adequate nutrition. And whereas residents of the village of Hoffman Estates represents a diverse cross-section of the American public who could benefit from educating regarding current national nutritional facts. This knowledge could include current scientific facts related to access to food, the importance of proper nutrition, and its role in physical and mental de development. And whereas this knowledge would assist the residents of the village of Huffman Estates in making informed food choices to optimize their physical functions and emotional well-being. And whereas this knowledge could also help the residents of the village of Huffman Estates by increasing access to adequate food and nutrition. Be it therefore resolved that William D. McLeod, acting under and virtue of the authority vested in him by the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the laws of the village of Huffman Estates, hereby proclaim March 2018 as National Nutrition Month in the village of Huffman Estates and hereby encourage all citizens, government agencies, business leaders, hospitals, schools, public and private institutions in the village of Huffman Estates to promote awareness and nutritional facts, support the programs and policies that advocate nutritional access and awareness to prove for all of the participants in the awareness of, and education of nutrition as related to optimal physical and emotional well-being. Chair, accept a motion. So moved. Second. The motion a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have a motion. Okay. Dr. Marks, would you accept this for... On behalf of the Health and Human Services Department, we thank all the work your department does. Next, we have a couple of great citizen awards to give for a couple of gentlemen who've been nominated by more people than uh, I'm going to read all the names off because we extend the meeting. <laughs> But each year, since 1993, rain, shine, sleet, or snow, Hoffman Estates residents Ron Evans and Joe Veronico have diverse neighborhood streets dispensing cheer, happiness, and hope for a great new year to all residents they came across. The guys known to many as simply Ron and Joe even participated in two Hoffman Estates Fourth of July parades, taking home the title of most unusual entry. <laughs> You got, to, you got a whole fan clubs here, too. <laughs> After 24 years of spreading joy, they've decided to hang up their party hats and leave a legacy that won't soon be forgotten. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service and for exemplifying what it means to be a good neighbor and a great friend. I'm certain your actions over the last two decades have brought much joy to those you have come across. Here's to Ron and Joe. You will not soon be forgotten. Ron and Joe, you want to come up by the podium here? <laughs> Go oh, up by the podium there. You could. Uh, we appreciate all the happiness and joy you spread throughout over two decades. That's amazing. So I have an award for each of you. The Village of Hoffman Estates is proud to present the Great Citizen Award to Rod Evans and Joe Veronico on Monday, March 5th, 2018. In recognition of their years of service and dispensing happiness to the residents of Hoffman Estates, one family at a time since 1993. House to house, neighbor to neighbor, Ron, a stand-up partner on the Ron and Joe New Year's team, has no doubt brought joy to many over the last 24 years during the New Year's celebration. His hospitable demeanor and friendly dip disposition are stellar examples of what it takes for the village of Hoffman Estates to continue to grow to greatness. And the same about Joe. He's a stand-up partner on the Ron and Joe New Year's team. So we appreciate it very much. Gentlemen, come on up.
You guys want to explain a little bit of how you get started doing this, and then we'll. <laughs> well, 24 years ago, uh, I thanked my wife for being late for a New Year's dinner, and I had a bottle of champagne on the um, counter, and I went over to Joe's place. I said, Joe, I'd like to just have a drink with you. And he said, I like this idea. We should expand upon this. So every year it kind of got more and more, and in the last couple of years we've been getting up, starting at about 11 o'clock and finishing at 7, and we went to about maybe 40 or 50 houses, and some of them are here. <laughs> and that was kind of it, and we give everybody a gift and wish them well, and that was our New Year's program. And it just kind of went on and on. That's a great tradition, and you've earned your retirement. Yes. <laughs> Come on up, gentlemen. Go get some pictures. You guys got matching outfits, too. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you can see it coming and going. In case we get lost. Yeah. <laughs> or from too much New Year's cheer. <laughs> so we got Aaron. You can come closer to take pictures if you want. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sneak in real quick. Everyone smile. Three, two, smile. one. Three, two, one. Bev, I missed you. I know. <laughs> I got the tall one in front of me. But now we're good. Three, two, one. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I like your shades there. Trust these these came in my Ron and Joe bag. Okay. I can't see anything, but they're pretty cool. Well, thanks to Ron and Joe. And here I thought people came because they were intrigued about our meeting, but they came for Ron and Joe. <laughs> I, th I thought it was because of Jim Norris Day. I knew better. <laughs> 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 Future's so bright, I have to wear shades. <laughs> here, in that case, you should... Okay, so we all know we're Thanks. celebrating Jim Norris's uh, 20 years of service to the village of Hoffman Estates, and this evening we also celebrate his birthday, which is coming up on Thursday, March 8th. So happy birthday and happy anniversary at the same time. We um, had some activities this past week. On uh, Wednesday, the 28th, we had the State of the Village Address at the Sears Center. Very well attended. Great questions. People love putting the mayor on the griddle. You know that. And that afternoon, I participated in a conference call with the uh, National League of Cities Transportation Infrastructure Committee. And uh, we had Wine Wednesday in the evening out at the uh, main event. And before that, we had the 40th anniversary celebration of the assembly. And most of us were able to be there to present them with a uh, proclamation uh, congratulating them. And they're a long standing institution in the village of Hoffman Estates, so we're glad they're there. And on the Saturday, March 3rd, uh, Trustees uh, Stanton and Gaeta and I attended the 40th Annual Legislative Breakfast at the Northwest Suburban Teachers Union. They had a good crowd, a lot of legislatures and uh, legislators, and uh, Trustee Gaeta sat next to J.B. Pritzker, who also attended. <laughs> and uh, Sunday, March 4th, we had the Eagle Court of Honor for Kyle Devery. And this morning, Trustee Stanton and I... Uh, Toured the village hall with a group of French artists that came in. They're in from our sister city of Angoulême. And we did celebrate Jim Norris's uh, birthday dinner. And we're going to continue to celebrate that. 
Because you you got to get as many days as Bev does. I mean, Bev gets an entire month. A week and a half. Yeah, at least. <laughs> and, uh, one's enough, Mayor. Thank you. <laughs> when you're as old as you are. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, there's rules against this, aren't there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I did not read that. Okay. Not for management. No, not for management. <laughs> yeah. You're like a politician. <laughs> so you can't, be, fi you can't be fired. Oh. Sort of. Okay, we got committee <laughs> reports. Let's start with Trustee Gata. Oh, okay. Trustee comments, rather. Yes. <clears throat> On Saturday, February 24th, attended the ribbon cutting at the Barrington Square Animal Hospital. And boy, what a beautiful, beautiful facility uh, that was. In fact, if I had an animal, there is no question that I would go there. That was as nice as any people hospital that I've seen for it. Yeah, they did an excellent job with that and with the tour. Then on Wednesday the 28th, the mayor's annual up the uh, breakfast. Crime, there must have been 250 people or more that, that was there. Um, and the meal was excellent and the way it was handled by Ben Gibbs over here. So uh, yes, we enjoyed that. Also. People came to see Ben, you know that. Oh, that's, well, you know what? He was dressed up, too. Okay. And also on Wednesday, the anniversary party at the assembly for their 40th anniversary on that. And then from there, the Wine Wednesday, which was at the main event. So uh, that one day, we had quite a few going on. Then on Saturday, the 3rd, the 40th annual uh, legislative breakfast at the Northwest Suburban Teachers Union at Stonegate. And as the mayor said, that uh, trustee Gary Stanton, myself, and the mayor were there. And yes, I did sit next to J.B. Pritzker, and uh, he was very nice, right? Uh, but he didn't offer me a position <laughs> or anything. So, And then on Sunday the 4th, we attended the Eagle Court of Honor for Kyle uh, DeVerry from Troop 399 at St. Hubert's Church. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Trustee Newell. Okay, uh, pretty much the same, but uh, a little bit shorter. On the 24th, the Barrington Square Animal Hospital ribbon cutting, which, uh, as uh, Trustee Gates said, it was a very amazing building and a lot of up-to-date technology in there for your pets. So that was really cool. Um, I was in my glory. Uh, on 228, uh, the 40th anniversary of the assembly, and on the 4th, uh, the Eagle Scout for Kyle Devery. And last but not least, happy birthday and congratulations, Jim Norris. Thank you. Trustee Palafis. Uh, yes, I would also like to say congratulations on that. <laughs> and happy birthday to you also, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Today we had the uh, Plots Concert Commission meeting. Uh, so we're in full swing for this year's Plots Concert. I don't know if I mentioned before, but we added a day. So it'll continue to uh, Sunday. Uh, also, um, on uh, Thursday of last week, the Emerging Technologies Commission partnered with one of the uh, local Oracle user group. Oracle's a database technology, and we had about 50 people down in the back room. Um, did some catering from some fine Hoffman Estates establishments and whatnot. Uh, I also want to uh, wish Jim a uh, happy birthday. But more importantly, uh, I met Jim about 16 years ago, and... Uh, I was honored to read your your uh, proclamation tonight. I was having some fun with Jim when we were upstairs. Uh, I was going to do some some wacky things, but I wasn't really sure about the crowd and and uh, yeah, I was going to you know village manager extraordinaire. You know, I was going to go on and and talk about how one of Jim's most challenging parts of the job is me for eleven years. There was too much truth in a lot of that, <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I appreciate all the hard work you've done and uh, you know spending. Uh, half of your career here with me. We actually met uh, at the fishing derby, I think right after uh, or during somewhere around the time Michelle and I had Caleb, and I think Jenny was a baby. <laughs> so that's uh, it's been a while ago. Now they're both in high school together. Um, but uh, just thanks for all the work you do. Appreciate the partnership. Learned a lot from you. Uh, I was going to mention how you've only been wrong four times over 11 years. You know, not that I've been keeping count, but uh, <laughs> keep up the good work. <laughs> Is that the number of bets you won with Jim for? <laughs> no, I've won two bets. Those I'll never forget. But a uh, couple with Mark as well. So <laughs> Lost a couple too, but those we don't discuss. That's all for me. All righty. Trustee Stanton. I can't beat that. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> On the 24th of February, I was able to attend the Barrington Square Animal Hospital ribbon cutting. 
On the 28th, attended the mayor's annual updated breakfast, and uh, also later that day, uh, stopped by for the assembly's 40th anniversary party. On the 3rd of March, I was at the 40th annual legislative breakfast of the Northwest Suburban Teachers Union. And on the 4th, I was able to attend the Eagle Court of Honor for Kyle Devery. And today, the mayor and I did uh, show three people from Angoulême uh, around Village Hall here. And I think they really got a kick out of it, especially they got those hats and those shirts from the fire department So, and the patches. <laughs> Yeah, the fire department always comes through. I have no idea if the police department did, but the fire department always comes through. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, trustee? And me? finally, happy birthday, Jim. Thank and you. congratulations on your 20th anniversary. Thank you. Trustee Arnett. Thank you. Um, also on the 24th, I was able to attend the grand opening for the Barrington Square Animal Hospital, um, which is just a really great place. Um, also on the 28th, I attended the mayor's breakfast, and it was very well attended. And on the third, I was actually able to attend the USA Gymnastics um, competition um, Saturday morning. Um, my hat's off to the firefighters and paramedics that were there that helped the injured gymnast. Very well done. Um, and then I also attended the Once on This Island for performed by the high school at Hoffman Estates. Very well attended, and it's a very, very good group of kids um, that are doing this. Um, and happy anniversary and happy birthday to Mr. Norris. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Arnett. We'll move on to the village manager's report. You get equal time, Jim. No report tonight, thank you. Really? <laughs> I yield my time to the village clerk. Yeah, village clerk's report. What do you have, village clerk? Okay, my usual. Um, during the month of February, 57 passports and 143 um, FOIAs went through. Early voting started today, and it runs through March 19th, and it's Monday it's every day of the week, including Saturday and Sundays, um, in the back in our lamb room. Um, last time I looked, but it was probably around 4 o'clock, we had 61 voters, which I thought was pretty good. But then when I compared it to other ones, it was like Arlington Heights had double what we had. So I don't know. Um, maybe we could get that on the, I don't know, who does the message board anymore? Put it on the message board that we have early voting here. It's mm -hmm. a good um, idea. If that's a possibility, that'd be great. Um, happy birthday, Jim. Thank you. I'll wait for a few more days so you're a different number than me again. But you'll always be older. That's true. That's it. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Move on. Committee reports 6C, Planning, Building, and Zoning. Chairperson Stanton. Thank you. On the 19th of March, of this year at seven o'clock in the evening, we'll meet here. We'll have a roll call, approval of the minutes for February 12th, 2018, and then we'll get into new business and there are five items. First is a request approval to change the name of AT&T Center Drive. Uh, second is request approval of a resolution adopting the 2018 zoning map. Three is request acceptance of the Department of Devel Development Services monthly report for planning division. Fourth is request acceptance of the Department of Development Services monthly report for code enforcement division. And fifth is request acceptance of the Department of Development Services monthly report for economic development and tourism. Uh, next is president's report. After that, uh, we don't have anything in another or items in review and then we will adjourn. Thank you, General Administration personnel, Trustee Arnett. Thank you. Follow, immediately following the Planning, Building, and Zoning Committee, we will call to order the General Administration and Personnel Committee, the Village of Hoffman Estates, for March 19, 2018. We will begin with a roll call, then uh, the approval of minutes for February 12, 2018. Under new business, we do have four new items. Number one, discussion regarding the legislative update. Number two, request acceptance of cable TV monthly report. Number three, request acceptance of Human Resources Management Monthly Report. Number four, request acceptance of Legislative Operations and Outreach Monthly Report. Then if there's anything additional to add in the President's Report, um, if there's anything in other or items in review, and then we would call for an adjournment. Thank you, Trustee Nett. Transportation and Road Improvement as the Vice Chair. Do you want to tell us yes, what's going I on there? Yes, I will do that. Hopefully, uh, Trustee or Chairman Mills will be here on that evening, and she will then uh, take a roll call. Uh, then approval of the minutes of February 12th, 2018, and February 26th of 2018. After that, we have one item in new business, and that's a request acceptance of the Transportation Division monthly report. Uh, following that, there's a President's report, possibly. 
Uh, other, nothing, but we do have one item in review, and that's a discussion of Steeple Hill Highland Crossing fence and gate. And after that discussion, we will adjourn. Thank you, Trustee Stanton. Move on to seven planning and zoning commission reports. Chairperson Combs. Good evening. Good evening. And congratulations, Jim. <laughs> Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by Stefan and Susie Witwicky, owner for a five foot side yard setback variation from section 9-3-6-E of the zoning code to permit a 25 foot setback instead of the minimum 30 foot setback for an attached deck that is higher than five feet from grade on the property located at 790 Jameson Lane with two conditions, the vote was eight A's, three A's. Chair, to accept a motion. So moved. A second. We have a motion to second. Are there any questions on this report? Just one. Trustee Stanton. Uh, what's the difference between this versus what they already have? There was one slight bump out on that. I guess the original deck had not been approved, and so they need to repair it, and so they're coming back here. Was there an additional, like, five feet or something like that? Or? No, I, th I think it's only a foot, maybe, yeah. Just an additional foot on the side, I believe. Okay. On that, isn't it? Yeah. Any other questions? Nope, that's it. Seeing none, can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Aye. Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Palafis. Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye. Motion carried. Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by Shaw Enterprises, Inc., DBA Mobile Gas, owner for a special use under Section 9-8-2-C-1 of the Zoning Code to permit a gas station on the property located at 810 North Roselle Road with one condition, but was eight A's, three absent. Chair, accept a motion? So moved. One second. It's a motion to second. Any questions on this one? I just find it curious that we always, whenever there's a new owner, we have to okay that that's a gas station, even though it is a gas station already. Mm -hmm. But that's just a curiosity. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's with the special use going with the uh, person, the owner, not the, not the, the building. We, we <laughs> had discussed that at our meeting, and there are several circumstances where it would be beneficial to keep it as is, because if there are any. Um, conditions that have changed or items that have caught up, that's a good opportunity for us to include them into the conditions. No, that makes sense that. too. Okay, uh, are there any other questions? We have a motion to second. Can you pull the board, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Aye. Trustee Gata. Aye. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Palafis. Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye, motion carried. Planning and Zoning Commission recommended for approval a request by Richard Steinhaus Trust 1997 owner and Heath Industrial Auction Services, Inc., DBA, American Auction Associates, applicant tenant for a special use under Section 9-9-1-C-1 of Zoning Code to permit an auction services facility on the property located at 2104 Stonington Avenue with eight conditions, but was eight days, three absent. Chair, to accept a motion? So moved. Second. There's a motion. There's a second. Any um, questions on this item? <laughs> yes, Trustee Stanton. <laughs> uh, there's enough room in the back for these cars that they plan on auctioning eventually? Um, that only occurs on very rare occasions. Well, most, I think most of the auctions occur on the site of the um, owner of the property. Yeah, from what I read, it's like two times a year they're going to have auctions. But I'm assuming that those cars are going to be sitting back there for that period of time. Is that right, Mark? or um, holding them until the owner shows up, I believe. I believe that's correct. Yeah, it's an online auction. It's not an auction on the So the process. cars are going to be online auction. They're not going to be live auction. Right. Okay. Yes. Anything else? Trustee Gata. You were just saying, it, according to what I was reading here, that uh, how long have they been running an auction out of that place or office or whatever? Um, before they were advised that they needed to come and get the special use permit and a business license. So they didn't have either, not a business license or a special. Right. And, and we found out because of the code enforcement people? Because they had posted some signs out in front and one of our staff was driving by and caught it. 
illegal signs out front. Okay, and, and we noticed village clerk, have they applied? Well, they could the apply, but we can't give them a license until this has gone through special right. use. Special use has to come first. Okay. Just like the gas, gas station. The gas station was a gas station, but because the special use has to be approved to this owner, I still have their license. Okay. So it's a whole special use thing that throws another layer in there. And so majority of this auction is going to be online, and then yet they come to pick up right. at the location? And, and there is some, uh, on occasion only, there would be some times where the people would come just to preview the item if it is being housed there. Are they going to have any live auction there also? No. Strictly online? Right. Okay, thank you. I have no more questions. Okay, any other questions? Trustee Stanton. From what I read, they are going to have live auctions there. That's what I thought. On that premises, on the is petitioner here? where the owner is. Can you come on up and just explain what's going on here? Give you your name and address for the record. and business address or my home address? Either, either one's okay. Uh, Tom Mowry, Heath Industrial. The business address is 2104 Stonington Avenue. Uh, the vast, vast majority of our business is done on the site of the businesses that hire us. So we, we, do, we don't sell here, but occasionally we'll have an online only sale here where customers will come and go. And twice a year we'll have a car sale, which is a live sale, with people attending, but that's always on a Saturday when traffic in the area is minimal and it, should, uh, and it, it you know, shouldn't be a cause of disruption. How many cars do we be auctioning off at these? Yeah, I was going to ask. Usually 15 is about the number. Uh, most of these cars come from, uh, they're turned over to us by bankruptcy trustees, and then we liquidate them for them. We're uh, the only auctioneer who's bonded with the bankruptcy court in, in uh, the district, northern Illinois. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. I have yes, one. Trustee Gator. With these automobiles, do you repair them? No, we sell them as is, where is. Okay, thank you. And if this is approved, you will be getting a business license? Yes. I, that, okay. that was totally my fault. I came in and applied for the license. Um, I was told that there was already a business at that location that had a license. And then I went, 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 intended to come back and prove that we were the business at that location. And, you know, it's my fault I didn't come back in a timely manner. Okay. Any other questions? Do we uh, collect sales tax as a result of these auctions, or how does that work? Yeah. Um, if it's business to business, no. If it, um, but my understanding is you've applied for sales tax ID numbers from this location now. Uh, we have sales tax ID numbers with the state already. At the, but in your Hoffman estate. Uh, well, location. we we since we sell in so many municipalities, mm -hmm. if you look at our sales tax return, we you know we pay tax for you know, twenty different municipalities based on where the sale occurs. Okay. But if it occurs here, yes, we collect the sales tax here. Have we lost any sales tax as a um, result of? There, there's no way we could tell you that, Trustee okay. Stan. I do know that when this came up that I asked uh, both planning and the finance department to check the sales tax ID numbers and that uh, that information was, uh, there was no record oh. of it. And so we've asked that, that we see a copy of the sales tax ID numbers for the future. Yeah. Okay. And, and we have collected some sales tax, and I have remitted it to, you know, picking Hoffman Estates as the municipality. So, I don't, you know, once it gets to the state, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. another <laughs> issue, isn't it? <laughs> we don't either. <laughs> Anything else? So well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We do have a motion and a second. Uh, you want to call the roll, Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton. Aye. Trustee Gator. Nay. Trustee Arnett. Aye. Trustee Newell. Aye. Trustee Palafis. Aye. Mayor McLeod. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Move on to eight additional business. We have one item. Request board approval of an ordinance amending section 8-3-22. Number of licenses of Ar Article 3 alcoholic liquors of the Hoffman Estates Municipal Code. Decrease in number of Class D licenses. Select Hotels Group, <coughs> LLC. Doing business as Hyde Place Hotels. An increase in number of Class D licenses. Summit Hotel, TRS 034, LLC, doing business as Hyde Place, Chicago, Hoffman Estates, Illinois. Is there a motion? Make so a motion to approve. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion on this item? 
Seeing none, can you call the roll, call the roll Madam Clerk? Trustee Stanton? Aye. Trustee Gator? Aye. Trustee Arnett? Aye. Trustee Newell? Aye. Trustee Palafis? Aye. Mayor McLeod? Aye. Motion carried. Chair would accept a motion to adjourn. So moved. I'll second. Motion to second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. We are adjourned. <laughs>